Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and here we are with Gonzo Rivera on another Let's Play episode. We are going to do one of the next major quest lines to do, probably the, the longest one, and I, I don't know how much I'm going to show you today because it is a ton of sailing. So I'm going to show you how it works and how you're going to do it, um, and then you're going to complete it on your own, at your own pace. It's one of those things that once you start, you kind of just want to finish it. So, it's the circumnavigation quest line. So, after you finished doing the Suez Canal, I believe, or one of the other previous episodes that I did, we got to start the circumliner, a circumnavigation quest. Now, it's not really a quest so much as it is a event quest. It's an event history. So, very similar to your main quest, it's the circumnavigation tab. And there's chapters rather than, you know, quests to do. So, in chapter one, after you've spoken to your royal highness, whoever that my person might be, they'll give you this first chapter. And the very first chapter is going to give you all this, you know, background and then one direction to meet somebody in some specific place. Um, or meet uh, different characters or different uh, port officials, too. So outside the royal palace, there was a number of townspeople who were listening, blah, blah, blah. And then Gonzo agreed to look for the journal and set out to sea, heading for the next port of Call of Las Palmas. So, that's where we're going to go. And you're going to go there first. So we're going to get ourselves on our boat. We're going to go to Autonav. And Las Palmas is really close. It's our first stop. Stock up on stuff to protect yourself from battles and other things as well. So there we go, surveying, I do my caution, I do my frugality, I have enough food to go around, I have repair kits, I have uh, this if I really needed it to protect me for an hour from storms, might use that in the Pacific Ocean, not entirely sure, um, and there you go. Oh my goodness, my phone is blowing up all of a sudden. So, anyways, and that's where we're going to start. Now once we get to Las Palmas, we have to do a particular thing. Uh, let's see. I believe we're going to talk to the port official. I think that's who the the person we we talk to. So, you arrive in Las Palmas. That will start Chapter 2. Uh, you'll get a typical... Uh, history, little box, and a bunch of stories. Um, then you gotta check with the port officially. That's what I thought. Check in with the port official and then return to the port. And after return to the port, uh, we're gonna then get like some more uh, history and prompts from talking people. And someone's gonna join us and we're gonna agree to take them with us and take us take a person. We're not taking anybody other than one of these, like, fake characters that's, you know, in the event history quests. And we're gonna then sail to Rio. Which, I'm not gonna show you everything, guys. I mean, listen, it's all on a, apply a link below in my comments so that you could see where the circumnavigation quest, uh, you know, quest line, I guess you want to call it, or chapters is listed. And you can follow it along and make sure you do it. It's got a lot of chapters. Um, it's got, let's see, according to this guide that I'm going to post, nine chapters. Okay, so what am I saying a lot of chapters for? That's it. Nine chapters. Simple as that. Alright, so we're, we're creeping up past Casablanca. My adventure level is getting really high. I might invest in a faster sailing ship soon. Maybe that's something I'll show you guys. Um, how I decide on what ship to go with based off of my levels. What I can sail. What will work for me. My aid is almost at that stage. We'll probably get the trust of 50 when we finish this quest line. trust went up again. That's good. What can we work on here? She's good on that. She's good on navigator. If 
fifty is good. Thirty-five, we don't know. So let's work on the ones that she's low on. So I have her in the surgeon uh, slot because I was told that while she's in surgeon, your aide will have a chance of curing some random ailments that you or, or your shipmates and everybody get. So. Plus, it gives me plus one to caution, which helps protect me further from potential ambushes. So that's always good. And I don't need this boost until uh, we're buying stuff. And along this way, you could buy some things if you want to. But that's up to you. I don't know that it's necessary. Uh, it might also slow down your ship. So it's up to you. I mean, I just like to stock up on food and water because you're going to need lots of it for this trip. So I would just get all, the, all that you can while you're sailing. to Las Palmas. I think I could see it in the distance. And when I do this little piece here, it's going to be nine more times of the same exact thing. It's just sailing to these two locations. And I'll give you, I'll open up my uh, my map here in the bottom to its fullest uh, open level here, uh, or at least large enough so you guys can see it. And I will point to and do this, you know, circle around the locations that you're going to be going to according to my uh, uh, wiki, I guess you can call it, my guide that I'm going to post and show you. So, this is chapter one. Going to Las Palmas. Pretty easy. Not hard. We're really close to getting to level 14 in battle. We might get that on this trip too if we have enough uh, use of our amulet with the suns, which they're really close to breaking. Probably should have gotten more. Oh well. Alright, so we're arriving at Las Palmas now. And we'll probably get a prompt when we arrive just to pop up on the screen and then it'll probably tell us to go to the port official. Such a roundabout way when you autopilot. It's so bad. Okay. Oh, look, I finished my research thesis too. All right. Here's this prompt. Stupid music. Go to the harbor. Talk to the port official. We'll get a prompt again. And that's it. Uh, whatever. I'm just going to answer whatever. Okay, that was that. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to top off on my vigor and get my sailors fully unfatigued here. I love the music in this. Alright, good enough. Alright. So we're going to get back on our ship. Back to the port official. Stock up. Like I said, I like to stock up. Okay, we get this. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone talks. Can I join you? Sure. But she's just a girl. Blah, 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 blah. That's right. She's joining us. Sure. Really? Thank you so much. Are you serious, Captain? Yes, I am. I have to anyways. The game would have made me anyways. All right. And that is the first prompt. I'm going to stock up here. By the way, if you click this button, it stacks out the max you can fit. Pretty convenient. Okay. And now we auto set sail. To, what's the next place? We said Rio. Rio. Rio, yeah. OK. 
Okay. And we're on our way to Rio. Alright. And that's that, guys. You have now started the circumnavigation quest, and you're going to keep doing this, and it's going to bring you around the whole world. So let's, let's show you. Wait, before I do that, let's make sure I have all my... Because I'm going to navigate away for a moment. Alright. So, we just sailed from Seville. We're going to Rio, which is all the way down here. And then from Rio... It's going to tell us to go to, I believe, Buenos Aires. I'm sorry, guys, my phone. Blah, blah, blah. Player set side. Having checked in, player sets out for Buenos Aires, which is right here. Not far. Um, once we arrive in Buenos Aires, follow the quest line. Follow all of the prompts. Now we go to San Antonio. Right there. I don't know why they, this is part of the circumnavigation course. It's so close to each other, but it is. Now the island at the southern tip, which is called Ushuaia, I believe. Yes. Yep, we're going to Ushuaia. Then we get some prompt that some stuff is happening in Seville. After we arrive in Ushuaia, player checks in with a port official there. He comes out, which I don't think you could enter the city because there isn't really a city here. They'll just come out to you and talk to you when you arrive. And then we have to sail across the Pacific Ocean. We're not going to go anywhere here. We're going to sail across the Pacific Ocean. You could just head straight east right from the bottom here and you'll end up somewhere over here. So just east on a slight, what am I saying, east, west, on a slight angle upwards. And then you should end up in Wanganui, 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 yeah, whatever it is. We've already unlocked Oceania, so we should be able to get to here. And then we are going to go to, once you're along this way here to somewhere at the halfway point, you're going to get um, like a prompt of the story halfway through. Then we go to chapter four. Arrive in Wanganui, find the story, follow the story. Once we're in Waganui, Waganui, um, we are going to end up in um, we hear that people are heading towards Manila. To be in Manila, yeah, Manila is next, so we go to Manila, all the way up here. So you could stop on places along the way in. I'm going to discover while I'm out this way, because, you know, who's going to bother with half of these places afterwards? I'm going to go to Hobart, Kagari, Kadu, Kakadu, and maybe even try to get Pinjara, if I can. Because that's so far down south. And then come back around and then get, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, a lot of places. One, two, Samarj, Kakadu, then Pinjara. Then go up here, and I'm going to pick up whatever I can on my way up to Manila. And then I'm going to pick up what I can on the way back from Manila. And all that stuff. So once we're in Manila, we are going to be going to... Try to read. People are asking me to go to... Brunei, and then I think we have to go back to Manila, so that's like a weird portion, Manila, Brunei, back to Manila, I believe, or someone's going back to Manila, we may not be going to, we might go to Brunei, Go back to the statue, blah, blah, blah. So there's a few things you got to do here. There's a, You might have to go to some places in Brunei. Um, while you're there... Gosh, I'm reading through all this heavy text. Went into the town. Jeez, all this is happening in Brunei? So much happening in Brunei. I'm 
I'm just reading and getting lost. Then we go to turn eight. Is that what it is? Next port of call was turn eight. Yeah, which is back here, down in this area. Jeez. And then from turn eight, go to Dilly. You're ambushed on the way. I believe that's where you're going to have to defend yourself. I could be wrong. Turn 8 and Dilly. So make sure I say bring something to defend yourself. Check with the port official. By the way, all these places you're going to, you're going to try to check with the port official. I mean, a lot of stuff's going to be prompted, but always double check by checking the port official. Again, and read the the, uh, the wiki that I'm attaching to my comments or to my uh, description. Player checks with Dilly. Upon leaving the port, the group saw a fishing boat. Rescue her. Yeah, you're gonna have to like find this crew. I took a moment to find this battle happening in front of Dilly. Um, I'm crashing you anyways. Blah blah blah. Show Robert gratitude and wish them the rest of the group. And next port calls Mozambique, all the way across. So now we're finally moving across this place. Mozambique is all the way over here on this little tiny island. And then you return to Seville, I believe. Or no, you go to Cabo Verde. Okay, so there's a few places to go to. It is the return to Seville, but then after that, we're going to sit out to Cabo Verde, which is here, which I just passed in my game. And then after Cabo Verde, I believe that's when we start heading towards Seville. Yep, start Seville. Make sense? Hopefully so. You got a long trip ahead of you, and you do a lot of garbage in this area. But pay attention to the quest line, pay attention to where they tell you to go. While you're here, you might as well discover some ports if you haven't already. If you want to go up here and try to discover all of this, you can. I've done it with my main. I don't think I'm going to bother doing it with all with this character. But I'm definitely going to get the main spots here, like Manila, uh, and Turn 8, and Ambon, and Run, and Dilly, and Davao City, and these guys while I'm here, because I'm never going to come back here. So there you go, and that's what I'm going to do. Oh, Calcutta, that's what's over there. I had no idea. Anyways, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and I don't know how long I'm going to be committed to this for because this is going to take a long time, especially when we start sailing across the Pacific Ocean in a boat this slow. I may or may not be able to pull it off. So at the very least, we're going to go to Rio and see what happens. But hopefully this video explains what you're going to do. I'll just recap it real quick. Start in Seville. We go to uh, Las Palmas. Then we go to Rio, then we go to Buenos Aires, then we go to San Antonio, then we go to Ushuaia, sail across, there'll be a prompt, Wagonoi, technically you can avoid all of this, then your next thing is going to be Manila, then your Manila to Brunei, then Brunei to Ternate, and then Ternate to Dili, and then from Dili to Mozambique, and then from Mozambique to Cabo Verde, and then from Cabo Verde to Seville. But all along the way, so you got to do all the questing and the stupid little history stuff along the way. Read all the details, read all the stuff that you have to go through with. Don't shortchange yourself because you don't want to miss something and have to sail back around again. Read the description below. I will attach it, I promise. So hopefully this video explains uh, well enough to how to do the circumnavigation quest. It's going to be worth your while. You'll get a decent uh, item out of it. You'll get the um, title and you'll be able to, uh, you know, be able to wear the suit and you get an extra plus one to your sailing. Take care, everyone. Bye.